all right so this is the united kingdom the uk a western world so there are some practices that are not acceptable like totally unacceptable but the thing is that if you are not informed yeah if you do not really put your ears down you may not really know about this and you will likely land into trouble the law of this country do not want to know if you are ignorant or probably because you are not informed if you are not aware if you are not informed is not an excuse so please guys watch this video to the end because on today's video i'll be sharing a reality of what happened to one of us a nigerian here in the united kingdom stay with me until the end of this video and i shall see you shortly you're welcome back to my channel this is your girl blessing of blessed blessing channel on this channel i film content on how you can migrate to the united kingdom live generally in the uk like i bring out informations that will make your transition to the united kingdom as smooth as possible so if this interests you please consider subscribing to the channel and also do not go without hitting on that notification bell so you get notified anytime i upload new videos to my returning subscribers thank you guys for always coming back to watch my videos i sincerely appreciate you god bless you so let's move right into it guys it's in the news like this is a news line and i'll be using punch newspaper to read out this like it was published on the 12th september 2024 it says uk-based nigerian nurse jailed three years for child negligence you know when you talk about child negligence some of us do not really take this seriously i tell you this there are some things like i said from the beginning of this video that is totally unacceptable they can joke with everything you can appeal for everything but when it has to do with a child like this even if it's just this tiny guys they are going to take it seriously with you and just imagine what happened to this lady a nigerian working as a nurse in the united kingdom ruth atta has been sentenced to three years in prison for neglecting her 10 weeks old baby joshua akerile who died while she was at work the 28 year old single mother had reportedly left joshua alone in her nursing accommodation for eight hours on december 20 2022 to complete her shift according to a daily mail report on returning she discovered her son lifeless in his court and immediately called 999 reporting that he was not breathing the infant died an hour after the ambulance arrived despite resuscitation efforts tests revealed that he might have overheated due to excessive layers of clothing and beddings guys see i remember when i gave birth to my last baby here in the united kingdom my midwife that was assigned to me i mean the midwife that came to the house because when you give birth they'll keep coming okay to know how the baby is faring and how you the mother how you are taking care of that child when they came to visit me i remember there were exceptions that they actually picked and i took it seriously though it's not really a severe one okay because if not i don't think i'll be here doing this video okay but then what i'm trying to say is that during your antenental days okay you know uk antenental system is not the type that they would keep telling you lecturing you tell you know how it is in nigeria you you'll be in the hall a nurse will come out and speak to you now they don't do all those head talks okay but they are like prompt to giving you reflex <coughs> giving you books giving you papers to read just go for antinanta and when you get there they will just say please can you just read this at your convenient when you're free just take them seriously you see all those papers all those slips that they give to you they'll say and hey, just read it when you take it seriously i tell you because if you don't go through them that is where the main information lies okay remember a day that one of those midwives you know visited me okay my baby was there in the court okay so the baby was not really wearing so many layers of clothes but i felt it was winter i felt it was um that the baby was cold so i kind of covered the baby from here down okay every other place it, it, i think he was just wearing just a shirt okay but because it's still a baby and he was still like few days old so i felt the need 
for me to cover him properly. You guys know now, if he's, if he's in Nigeria, they will tell you, please cover that child. Do this, do that, do that. That baby has to be covered. Here in the United Kingdom, it's not like that, okay? I tell you this because when you give birth to a child from the hospital, they will tell you how you can cover your child. They will tell you that you should not put on layers of clothes on that like that baby should not be wearing so many clothes even if it's winter even if it's like really freezing okay you should make sure that the baby is dressed reasonably and when you want to cover them with blankets or beddings you should make sure that it's only their legs that you cover guys i think there is need for every parent or every mommy like you have a baby there is need for you to go to nhs page okay and watch that video there is a video there i don't know if i'll be able to attach it to this video but there is a video there that tells you how you can care for a baby team leader here at city hospital for our neonatal community outreach team and i just want to go through some tips of safe sleep we like all of our babies to lay on their back with their feet to the foot of the crib with a blanket over the blanket tucked in, nice and secure, below our low shoulders with no toys and nothing else in the cot to create a nice safe environment. So that was exactly what happened to this root. Unfortunately, on that particular day, she covered this baby up, okay, and left the baby in his cot, okay, and then she went to work. Let's continue. The report for that claimed that Atta, who worked at the Royal Bottom Hospital, was charged with cruelty to a child guys so this incident happened very close to my location because bottom is not far from my location okay and she pleaded guilty at Manchester magistrate court on may 24th 2024 why her sentencing was delayed by a month on june 6th while attempting to board a flight to nigeria she was apprehended at gatwick airport okay with a one-way ticket she had told the police she had collected joshua from a child minder fed him and then fell asleep with him on her bed she claimed she found him unresponsive upon waking however cctv footage and incriminating test messages contradicted her story the footage showed at leaving and returning to her accommodation without joshua and tests reveal she had instructed her child binder to falsely state she was caring for Joshua that day. The child minder later confirmed she had not seen the baby for several days. Given her judgment, District Crown Prosecutor for CPS, Northwest Sarah Deve, stated Ruth Atwa failed to provide the care for baby needed and chose to leave him alone. As a nurse, she should have been aware of the dangers of leaving her baby unattended. Her attempt to avert justice and demonstrate her lack of remorse. This person is a nurse, so they actually expected her to have known better than this. That you should not leave a baby alone. We are not talking about bigger baby or children that have started school. Or we are talking about 10-week-old baby. Leaving a 10-week-old baby all by himself because you want to go to work because you want to do shift guys see i think it's necessary for us to be informed but in this case i don't know what happened you know everybody have their story to tell but the thing is that united kingdom that i know will never joke with child negligence see let me tell you guys in case you don't know when you have issues like this even if you we are not prosecuted okay Probably the child did not die or something, someone else rescued the child. See, it has a way of affecting your whole being, your whole staying in the United Kingdom. Let me tell you, when you have an issue with a child, even if it's your own baby, once they have been able to prove that you are not able to care for that child, despite that child being your own child, guys, it will affect you. If you affect your DBS, you will not be able to work in any healthcare system, including as a carer. So if you are already a carer, probably you are a healthcare assistant or probably you are a teacher, okay? You just have to care for people, children, adults, whosoever it is. Guys, it will definitely come back to you because your DBS will be affected and you will not be able to work under 
healthcare system in the United Kingdom. That's if you were not prosecuted. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. So the essence of me doing this video is to enlighten us the more. Please do where to share this video. Share this video with your friends, your family. If you have anywhere going, please look for a way to care for that child. Don't leave that child alone. The UK law says that any child that is 16 and below should not be left alone, you know, to care for themselves. There must be an adult there in the house with the child. So if you have somewhere going, you want to quickly go to work, you want to buy something from the corner shop, guys, I think it's best you wait for either the, your husband or whosoever it is, okay, that stays with you, or you take that child to a child minder. It's better you pay for child minder, okay, than landing yourself into trouble. It's not funny. Seriously, it's not funny. And so Ruth Atwa, I actually felt for you because I understand the struggle. You know, being in the UK as a single mother is not really easy, to be sincere. I have a couple of friends around me, my colleagues. They are single mothers and they are struggling because you can't work. That's the truth. And when you have babies like that, for you to how are you going to pay your bills so i i sincerely understand her situation but the thing is that ignorance is not an excuse especially when it has to do with the law okay so there is other way that she would have gone around it okay if she had really given that child to a child minder i believe this incident wouldn't have happened and then she would have been a free person today imagine you spending three years of your life in the, in prison in another man's land yeah, I actually feel for her. But at the same time, it's a lesson for us all. Please learn from this. Do well to share this video. Because sharing this video, you'll be helping someone. There are other people that just got into the United Kingdom. They may not really know about this. Or probably they have been hearing about it. But they may not really know that it is very serious. It's a serious offense in the UK for you to abandon a child to be... You know, to be to be left alone, guys, is a serious crime in the United Kingdom. So thank you again for watching, and I remain blessing a muzzle of blessed blessing channels. Thank you. Bye.